is what's going on and this is the milestone task for unit 3.8 fractions so we're, we are at the end of this unit and I'm just gonna go over the milestone task in this video so then there's no confusion what tools to use where to type stuff actually you don't even need to type anything at all the best method once again is to use that your drawing tool at the top so the first question part one preparing the garden there are four third grade classes at Ludlow Taylor Elementary School each class is planting an equal part of the garden they share use the rectangles below to show four different ways they could divide the garden into equal parts label the parts with fractions so remember what we talked about unit fractions what does each fraction represent so there's one two three and four different rectangles to represent the gardens what they want you to do what i want you to do is partition each rectangle into four equal parts but do it four different ways so option a shouldn't look like option b c or d each one of these as best as possible partition them into four equal parts so that's part a uh well that was part one part two says planting the garden the students plant carrots in a row they plant one seed every one eighth divide the line below into eight equal parts and show where the fractions in the box go so this is where i want you to use a drawing tool but something that might help you out when you pick that use um you may want to use a maybe a thicker line one of these thicker lines um so then your line kind of stands out like that I mean, you could try one of the skinnier ones. That could work also. It's up to you what you do, right? Whichever one you feel more comfortable with. Uh, but when you use the skinnier one, you could kind of put more numbers on the line. But you could use the, the one of the thicker lines for this problem in part two. So you need a partition from zero to one hole. Remember, this is one hole into eight equal parts then once you do that you need to label where zero eighth one eighth four eighths seven eighths and eight eighths would go put it on the top put it on the top all right and scroll down this is also part two some students are planting seeds in rows that are twice as long as the one above so this first number line should help you and assist you in doing this. This goes from zero to one hole. This next number line goes from zero to one hole to two holes. So remember what we talked about with improper fractions and which ones of these would be greater than one. You don't have to partition and make each line um, like eight lines in each hole. But try to put it as best as possible where you think it would go. Next, part three, harvesting the garden. The garden has four different vegetables, carrots, lettuce, peas, and cucumbers. This chart shows the fraction of a garden row used by each vegetable. So carrots, lettuce, peas, cucumbers. Five, six of the garden has carrots, two six has lettuce, um, the peas are two fourths, cucumbers are three fourths. Just like when we were comparing fractions, it says write the symbol less than or greater than or equal to to compare the fraction below. Explain your thinking. What I would like you to do is put your symbol in here using the drawing tool for this or equal to 
whatever you prove. But you can either draw a number line to compare them on the side, or you can use a bar model. Remember, we discussed that about comparing fractions and using a bar model. You can show two fourths over here, you can show two six over here. Or if you want, you can just um, use a drawing tool to kind of write your answer. That might be a little bit tricky, but you can show your thinking either by writing it or by drawing it out. So those are two questions down here, and that's it for the milestone test. So these are all things that we've gone over. If you feel like you really need some more practice, we're going to review it afterwards. So even if you, you feel as if you tried your hardest and you still have some questions on how to answer some of these, we're going to review it all together. All right? This is Mr. Bonhomme. I will see you later.